time. Today I'm going to be doing a title tutorial based off of how an editor named Neptune does his titles. This idea was based off a suggestion by Finessum. Thank you so much for commenting. The first title I'm going to show you how to do is this sequence right here. To start off, we're going to bring in a text plus clip and go to the Fusion page. On our template node, we are going to increase the size of the words and change the Open Sans font to extra bold. Then with a transform node, we are going to do a zoom like this. The title sequence will be about a second long, and I'm in 60 FPS, so I'll be keyframing in about 40 frames for the zoom portion. Once we do that, we're going to edit our spline graph and make an ease in curve. Next, we're going to add a soft load node before the transform node and keyframe the gain for the same amount of time we did the zoom portion. Next, we are going to add a prism node and keyframe the aberration distance the same way. Lastly, we're going to add an opacity fade in Fusion. You can do this outside of Fusion, but I'm just going to do it here. Basically, what is happening is that I'm adding a background node and making it transparent. Then I'm switching the background node to have the yellow input, which is the background input, and making the title have the green input, which is the foreground input. By doing this, we can change the opacity of the foreground, which is our words, and keyframe it how we like. And in this case, it is from 40 to 60 frames. Then I didn't show it here, but you want to turn on Motion Blur and the Transform tab once you finish everything. And then you get this. For the next title, I figured out how to do this with the help of Motion Epics Tutorial. I have the link on the i and in the description if you want to check it out. We're going to start off the title similarly to how we did the last one with similar movement and look. But once we finish, we're going to right click the stylize text control and choose follower. So we'll put a modifier on your text, which you can do more animations with. So you're going to hit the modifier tab in the top right corner and adjust the order to random and the delay to about 1.2. Next, we're going to the brush tab in the modifier and keyframe the opacity for about 10 to 20 frames. I ended up changing it down to 10 frames, unlike what you see here. And after that, we will have something that looks like this. I added another transform node to shrink the size of everything. And next, I'm going to use the same trick for opacity that we did in the last title to make the text have a flash out animation. This is what it looks like. Now for the last title, I'll just explain it because it was just a pain to build again. To start off, I have the text node here, and I copied and pasted uh, instances. Basically how you do that is you copy the node, and you can hit Control shift v and you get an instance of it. And basically what an instance is, is whatever happens to this, happens to this and this. What I have the rectangles doing is masking out each part. So this one's masking out the one in the original one. This one's masking out the two, and this one is masking out the three. And then I'm using all these text nodes as masks for the background nodes. What I use the background nodes for is coloring the text. So basically, I'm able to keyframe the certain type of animation I want. So if I, if I want this to be white, I could be white, I could be white and then black. The back, as you can see. Right, let me just do this. Yeah, it goes from white to black. In these three transforms, I have the animation for the text getting bigger than smaller. In these transform nodes as well, and that one as well, I have the animation of the tight title getting bigger and smaller. It's better seen in that one. Yeah. Then in these two distortion nodes, oops, I have the distortion of the text. So it gets really distorted and round over here, and then it keyframes back to being regular. And I just have all these merge nodes with a placeholder. Uh, then I have this transform at the end of this to resize the, everything. And this is what everything looks like put together. 
If you have any more questions or tutorials you would like me to do, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, have a good day. What show zodiac sign do you think I am fine? Am I wasting your time? Wait. Because you looking divine, do you want to be mine? No, I see it as fine. Okay. She got me slipping and sliding. She ho rush, she riding. She closing her eyelids. She feel just so right. you know I'm a Leo. I'm worth like two people. That makes us a trio. I deal. I.